Hey, it's me, Mark. Okay, so if you watch my channel, you know I have kind of this issue with uh, the distinction between polyphony and articulation. There are two different things, and weirdly, with the terminology that companies try to use and marketing people try to use and laymen try to use, it gets really confusing about what polyphonic means, what paraphonic means, what duophonic means. All these things are very confusing. Now, I recorded a tremendously large documentary about the history of polyphony so that I could delineate how all of these things came to be and what all these terms mean and why they're important. Now, maybe you don't want to sit there for two hours and watch that whole thing. Um, but also, I've realized that I'm constantly fighting like a variety of companies right now that are coming out with really great uh, devices and instruments and they are trying to describe these instruments with terminology that doesn't describe these instruments. They're basically grabbing onto old words that mean specific things, trying to bend them to mean current things, which they don't. But that's not a criticism because there's reasons why they did, which I'll get to. But basically what's happening is there is multiphonic, which is a term that Bob Moog coined to describe <laughs> polyphonic synthesizers of very limited polyphony that had complete articulation per note, basically a synthesizer per note. Those synthesizers came out and people were calling them polyphonic and Bob Moog was like, listen, they're not really polyphonic, they're very limited polyphonic. Like if you look at a Jupiter 4 or a Prophet 5, they can only play four or five notes at a time, which as far as polyphony goes is extremely limited. But the benefit of them was the sacrifice of how many notes they could play at once was so that each of those notes could have its own articulation and therefore be more like an acoustic instrument like a piano where you play a note and then you can go on to play other notes and that note still has its own unique articulation, which is valid and important. But, um, calling one of those synthesizers like polyphonic and the way that some would say real polyphony is it real polyphony when you can only play four notes at a time no it is not that's limited polyphony polyphony is a term that deals with how many notes play at one time how those notes are articulated is a totally different thing and that's the important element that's being lost okay so we have multiphonic which describes synths like cs80 or the Prophet 5 or any number of other synths, uh, all of the Oberheim synths, uh, later Oberheim polyphonic synths, where you have a limited note count, but you have full articulation. Then on the other side, there were a bunch of synths like the, you know, Arp Omni, which was probably the biggest selling synthesizer of all time before the DX7, and it had full polyphony, every note played independently but it only had one articulative structure, which is to say it was not a synthesizer per note. It was all notes through a single synthesizer articulation, which was, of course, a f one filter and an amp. And that's what we came to call paraphonic. So we have multiphonic, which is full articulation, limited polyphony. We have paraphonic, which is full polyphony, limited articulation. Now, that basically served the purpose for many, many years. But now companies are starting to make these synthesizers that don't fit those descriptions. Synthesizers that have limited polyphony and limited articulation. But they're not paraphonic because paraphonic described single articulation. Some of these synthesizers have full articulation for all the notes in amplitude, but only some articulation in filtering. And that's not paraphonic. And it's certainly not multiphonic, where each note of polyphony would get its own articulation. So we have kind of a problem. And the real problem is that a lot of companies are going, well, okay, so yeah, we've got, you can articulate this in a lot of ways, but we don't want to give people the sense that it's fully articulated like a multiphonic synth. So we, we, they'll be mad if, if they think that, and it's not like that. So let's create... Uh, We'll just call it paraphonic, because that means it's not fully articulated. But that's not what paraphonic means. Paraphonic means one articulative structure. And that, ha that definition has been in place for about 20 years now, at least. 
So you can't really mess with it and start saying, yeah, it just means not, art not fully articulated. No, it means only singularly articulated. So I think these synths need their own term and then companies might stop using the wrong term to describe them. So I came up with the idea of just making up my own term because I don't see companies making up a term and I don't see journalists making up a term and I don't see anyone else making it up a term. term and I keep fighting it. I keep going, uh, no, that's awesome. This is really a great synth, but this word it doesn't really apply to this. So I thought I'd make up my own term. And this is where you say, who do you think you are that you can just make up words to describe that you Arab? bastard. Um, which has actually already been said to me about this very topic. Hmm. I, I mean, I want to point out that all of the terms we use to describe synthesizer things, including polyphony. Yeah, yeah I know there's an old word that means pol that's polyphony, but like the definition is completely different. Like all of the terms relating to synthesizers were made up by people going, I need a word that word that describes this thing. So that's all I'm doing. Now, if you think I'm not qualified to do that, I could list my qualifications or I could just say, people make up words all the time, who gives a shit? Do you give a shit? If you give a shit, you need to think about why you give a shit. Now, I'm not saying that you need to give me credit, like Mark Doty made this word up. It doesn't matter. We just need a word to describe this thing so people will stop using the wrong word to describe this thing. Is that arrogant? Yes? No? I don't care. So, I came up with a word. I'm like, okay, it's not multiphonic, it's not paraphonic. What are we trying to describe? Something that has a, a variable set of articulation functionality. It's not entirely multiphonic, it's not entirely paraphonic. It varies. So, I came up with variophonic. It describes the synthesizers that have polyphonic possibility with limited articulation possibility. So it doesn't matter how many notes it can play, it just means that it doesn't have the articulative function to articulate both amplitude and timbre for every single note. It doesn't have an amp and a filter per note. It may have an amp for every note, but not quite a filter for every note. It might have some amps for various notes and some filters for various notes. It might have all the envelopes in the world, all the amps in the world, that only limited filters. These things are very aphonic. It's helpful, it's useful. Now companies have a word that can describe what they're doing without trying to force paraphonic to mean something it doesn't or limit their synthesizers that can actually do way more than paraphonic synths do to a term paraphonic which doesn't actually describe them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm promoting this word very aphonic to describe synthesizers like the Matrix Brute, the Matriarch, the Medusa, the Pro 2, these synthesizers that are a new breed that do something really cool that needs to be celebrated and not limited by a weird old term that really doesn't describe what they do. So, if you'd like to use that term, I'm going to use that term every time in my videos. I'm going to describe things as very aphonic. Here's a very aphonic synthesizer. Very aphonic. Synthesizers that are more than paraphonic and less than multiphonic, very aphonic. Also, let's keep in mind, monophonic plays one note at a time, duophonic plays two notes at a time, and polyphonic plays three or more notes, irrespective of articulation. These terms, monophonic, duophonic, polyphonic, talk about note count. These other terms that we've been talking this whole time, uh, paraphonic, variophonic, and multiphonic deal with how polyphonic notes are articulated. There, now we have six terms that can be used together that describe the functionality of synthesizers from the past, uh, keyboard activated synthesizers from the past, and keyboard activated synthesizers from the present. There, we're done.
Mark Doty, how arrogant of you to invent a word and then foist it off on us.